Do you have customers' checks that bounce on you? If so, you can use the NSF feature in GP to help you get through the process a little bit easier. Let's review how the steps are, uh, what steps are necessary to set it up. In the sales series, we're going to go to the receivable setup window. And the first thing we're going to do is just see, set up the default. So our default is NSF charge will be $25, meaning if a customer bounces a check on us or has a check return for any reason, we're going to charge that customer $25. At the time of the transaction, we do have the ability to override that amount. Now, let's go into administration and posting and posting account setup, and let's make sure we have an account set here. I'll change the display to the sales series and make sure that there's an account number on the NSF line. It's important that there be an account here because if we choose that a check is going to be uh, sent back or uh, listed as return for NSF reason, it first looks at the GL account for the customer and if there's not one there it'll look here. So it's important to have one set up here. And we have miscellaneous income set up here so that'll be good. So we'll click OK and go back to the sales series. Now to mark a check as NSF, under transactions we're going to go to posted transactions and let's pull up a customer. I'm going to pull up the customer Vision Inc. I'll then click on the lookup glass on the right and I can see all the transactions that are considered an open status for this customer. Here's the payables check, so I'm going to make sure, yes indeed, the check for $7,000 dated 518 and this is the check number is the one that was returned from the bank. So I'll simply then click on the NSF button. Now it's going to prompt me for a few other pieces of information. It's going to create a debit memo for the additional $25 I want to charge them and go ahead and put in an NSF amount. Notice I have the ability to override the amount if I want, override the description, and override the date. But I'll leave all the defaults and click OK. And let's close this window out. And closing this window out actually performs a posting process. It does a couple things. So let's go back into Inquiry now and look at Transactions by Customer for our customer Vision Inc. Now you'll notice we have the original invoice, we have a payment, the original payment, and notice it has the void notation on it, meaning it has been, it's uh, no longer an active check. We could even go in and look and we could see that it wasn't voided but indeed was marked as NSF. I'll click OK and we see the debit memo for $25 already posted. So now this customer owes us this full amount of the invoice plus the $25. Using NSF is an easy feature to use. If you get checks returned from customers, make sure you use it. Hope this helps. Thanks.